Scott here for Netbook News, taking a look at the pre-beta release of Jolly Cloud. Here's what the alpha release looked like, and here's what the beta release looks like. The GUI is completely redesigned. Uh, you can fill this up with whatever you want your start page to look like. Uh, the one thing that I liked about the Express install was that all of my files from my Windows OS were here and ready to access. All of my documents, all of my movies, all of my music, I could access it immediately, which was really handy. Right, let's take a look, look at the Wi-Fi. Very nice. Configure the VPN. Let's take a look here. Very nice to see. Mobile broadband is an option. Wireless and wired. Very nice. One of the other things that I really like is you can customize the OS to match your CPU. Rate 800 all the way to 1.6. Performance, power save on demand conservative. Really nice and handy. Uh, this is the icon uh, for system updates already. Available system updates. If we keep on going across the top, this is how I would flip through my various start menus. I haven't yet signed up for my Jolly Cloud ID, so we'll get to that next time. Top left corner, this is kind of your home key, desktop. Let's go down the side, accessories. Actually, let's comment on the Jolly Cloud USB creator. You can actually uh, create any of the ISOs off of this. So I use this to create the ISO to launch Jolly Cloud off of a USB. Uh, I actually tried it with another uh, ISO disk that I had, and it works like that too. Really handy for getting anything that I want onto my netbook. Very cool. So graphics, photo manager. But here in the internet comes with a BitTorrent. Easy access to all your favorites for online. Lack of Twitter though, so we'll investigate that in, in another video to see what's going on there. Only a dictionary in the office. Sound and video comes with the movie player. Let's take a quick look at that. Very nice. Actually, no, we're not going to watch a movie because... Uh, I don't think I have anything legal on there. Alright, if we get into preferences, once with an encryption key, Bluetooth, it comes with your own keyboard shortcuts. So you can definitely customize, customize, customize away, which is nice to see. Palm OS devices, ability to sync, screensavers. Where was the one that I really liked? This appeared on my install. Very relaxing. But anyways, there's a lot going on in the screensavers. And very different from Windows, which is kind of nice. All right, remote desktop. These are programs that I like to see in an OS like this because this is a secondary PC. So the ability to access it remotely is really handy. It's a nice detail. All right, so as you can see, administration, lots of things that you can keep track of. This has been an ultra quick look at the Jolly Cloud OS. Hope you've enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more in-depth videos about the pre-beta release. I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News.